Well, good day, you two. First of all, I'd like to congratulate you both on the wedding. It looks like Jill owes me ten bucks because it turns out Justin might not be gay after all. All right, all kidding aside, I'm really sorry for being unable to accept the great honor of coming and being here for this special moment in your life. I do, however, have got to tell you, Justin, job well done. Um, she's both awesome and hot, and I can say that because I'm on the other side of the planet, so you can't deck me. You've got yourself one hell of a laugh. Kayla is exactly what you need to keep you healthy and happy. Ever since she's been a part of your life, you've just been moving up in the world and have never seemed happier. Take care of her, spoil her, you know, treat her really well. She will always make you very happy for the rest of your life and will be your best friend. So Kayla, what can I say about Justin? I know he and I have been through a lot of shenanigans throughout the years. Shenanigans such as playing Steel and Forest Red Rover as kids, Camp in Pisa, the Jeep game incident, uh, the Park Lake incident, the forge, the off-road car chase in the river bottom. Remember, Jägermeister was involved. There's a lot of Jägermeister occurrences, actually, now that I think about it. Blow darts, uh, schoolyard skirmishes, schoolyard conspiracies, and oh, so much more that I really shouldn't include here. But one thing is for sure, Justin is the exceptionally loyal friend who, ironically enough, has got me out of trouble more than he's actually got me into trouble. He also never hesitated in stealing me extra cookies from the Marquis Hollow. I'm sure he'd do the same for you in a heartbeat. I miss you, and I wish you the best in all of your future shenanigans together. And finally, I would like to talk about fornication. For an occasion like this, so important to Kayla and Justin, please grab your drink and have one more to toast to the bride and groom.